Share your thoughts on CSIS and Sam Cooper's story on Canada interference by China and India. The real story was about Chinese interference, but we are ignoring it with the story of Pakistani interfe foreign interference and framing it as a story of Indian foreign interference. That was the heart of Singh Najjar thing. So you have China. The CCP is an international destabilizing agent, right? They have these bot farms. They will undermine the West, they'll undermine Canada, they'll undermine Australia, they'll undermine the UK, they'll undermine Vietnam, they want to invade Taiwan in 2027, they want the Belt Road Initiative, They are, and they're scared of India. Because India is the only country that has enough of a, you know, let's say, quantity to match China, because China's whole geopolitical strength is quantity over quality. And when you have another country with the equal quantity, who could then make that a, a general rates of quantity and quality, you, you have a, a, a huge threat there. So it absolutely makes sense that that the CCP... Now, people, this is where, you know, it's like a, one of those, like a lot of things can be true at once in, in, in global politics. So yes, the Canadian government can be making bad decisions and be stupid. And yes, the Indian government could be making silly decisions. And yes, the Chinese CCP government could be in the center trying to fan all the flames. All these things are actually quite likely. Again, India is a country of, of over a billion people. It has a massive government and bureaucracy. Most people in governments are ding-dongs. And then you have national interest hyped on top of that. And then you have the problems with Canada, which is, you see, the the Khalistanis, which are lockstep in bed with the Islamists and the socialists here. But, you, you know, they've, they've flown into this oppressor oppressed class. And, and the Chinese, of course, see the dangers of this ideology and what's going on in these universities, and they're fanning it. Right? How many Chinese foreign students are in these universities just flooding them with money in academia. Like that's another thing. Like the main resource of a lot of our education system is just Chinese and Indian students coming in with tons of money um, and paying, you know, full price for these universities instead of the subsidized Western kids. So you have this whole resource, and and the Chinese, of course, want to get involved and fan the flame. So you, it, it would make sense that any potential either you could say mistake would be fanned. No, would the Chinese probably try and instigate a situation in which um, different countries come into conflict? Yeah, yes, yes, they're our, they're our enemy. That's what they're trying to do. This naive approach we've taken where we thought we were in a friendship with the Chinese when we clearly weren't. Like, they allowed us to give them money. That's not friendship. Our allies, and you, you can say from their point of view, is, is America trying to destabilize China? Hopefully, I hope. I hope we're trying to fight the CCP. I hope we have some sort of thing, but I think we're a little lot more on the defensive right now. So, yes, um, countries um, do mess around with each other and interfere. Listen, I'd be surprised if you didn't find the, the CCP in the background of this fanning the flames. I'll put it that way. I would be very surprised if there was anything like this, where if there's two countries and both of them are not China, and they're in a fight and they have some people concerned, I would be shocked if the CCP wasn't involved trying to make things worse for those countries and get what it can um, in exchange uh, for it.